So now let's talk about how big the two-level page table gets. Say we have a 32-bit address space and a 4-kilobyte page. Let's say we're using a 1024-entry outer page table and a 1024-entry inner tables. There can be many of them, up to 1024 of them. And let's say that a page table entry is 8 bytes. Assuming that our page table entry is 8 bytes and that we have a program that uses virtual memory at the beginning of memory from addresses 0 through this and at the top of the memory from address this to the end, let's look at what the flat page table size will be and what our two-level page table size will be with this split between the inner and outer page tables. The flat page table size will have one entry for each possible page, so we have 2 to the 32nd pages, 2 to the 12th bytes in each page, so we have 2 to the 20th entries, and the total size will be 8 times this, which ends up being 8 megabytes. For the two-level page table, we need to figure out how many inner page tables do we have here and here. Our address is now composed of a 12-bit offset to index into the 4-kilobyte page, a 10-bit outer page number, and a 10-bit inner page number. They need to add up to 32, which they do. So we know that we need to have the outer page table, and its size will be 2 to the 10th entries times 8 bytes per entry here, which ends up being 8 kilobytes for the outer page table. Now the question is, which of these entries need to point to actual inner page tables and which ones can simply say that there is no inner page table? To figure that out, we need to see which of the inner page table entries do we need to actually point to pages of memory and which ones can simply be empty. Thus, we will decompose these addresses. This part of the address is the page offset, the upper part is the page number, and we need to split this 20-bit page number into 10-bit groups. So let's just write it out. We have 0, 0, 0, 0. These are the two zeros. Another hex digits for 0, the 1, and the 0. This is the outer page number. This is the inner page number. As you can see, all of the addresses in this range have the same outer page number. We start at 0, we end at 0, so only the entry number 0 here needs to point to an actual inner page table. For this address range, the page number goes from FFFFF0 to FFFFF. These page numbers also have the same outer page number. It's all ones. So only the last outer page table entry needs to point to an actual inner page table. Note that there are 1,024 entries here, only two of which point to inner page tables. So there is 1,022 entries that simply say nothing. So we have two inner page table times what's the size of one of them? Well, the size is 1,024 entries times 8 bytes per entry which gives us a total of 16 kilobytes. Adding the size of the outer page table, we get only 24 kilobytes. So the size of a two-level page table for this application is only 24 kilobytes compared to 8 megabytes for the flat page table. And this is why multi-level page tables are almost exclusively used in today's processors, especially when we have a 64-bit address space because for a 64 address space, the flat page table size would be too large to fit in memory, but a multi-level table will fit mostly because the outermost page table will have many empty entries, so we will need very few of these inner page tables.